Welcome back. It's the final part of Tuesday's Daily Rundown. Uh, but before we go anywhere, we still have to get Mr. Carl Doughty's something to say. I like how you say my name. Every time I say it. Yes, Doughty. It's like you're, like you're spitting it out at me. <laughs> I like what like we did there. That's Every good. time I'm doubting that I'm saying yeah. it right. Which is why, as you saw, I don't know if you noticed, Lars, you can see mm. the article. They, yeah, yes. they wrote it phonetically. Phonetically. Yes. It's, it's, everyone gets it wrong. It's fine. Um, yeah. But you are saying it right because so, it's phonetically. Is good. it Irish? Ma, it is Irish yeah. in descent, yes. So I've just more shame you, on me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> glad I brought um, that to everyone's attention. Yeah. My something to say is about fandoms, uh, specifically like fandoms on the internet. So people who associate themselves with a particular thing. So right right now what's happened this week is that a game called Final Fantasy XV, which is a game that a lot of people are looking forward to, was rumoured to be delayed by two months. And you'd think that would be a fine thing. You know, a game's delayed for a bit of time because it's going to get some more polish. But the people who rumor, who posted this rumour got death threats from people in the fandoms because they're like, you're lying, we need this game now, there's no way this is possibly true. And they, they, just, they just went on this massive campaign against these people because they didn't like what they were saying about something that they liked. Wow. And then when it finally came out today, that it, or yesterday, that it was being delayed, these people turned their line of sight onto the developers like you're delaying this game for no reason just for money grabbing reasons you're not releasing this game earlier because you're going to make more money somehow it's ridiculous arguments but people get very very passionate about this there's a cartoon called Steven Universe and there's there's a lot of um, like female empowerment in this show there's a lot of like uh, relationship stuff going on and essentially it's a, it's a cartoon aimed at children but a lot of adults myself included are very much into it. Yeah. Um, Do you know we had one of our, uh, our ex-producer Emmy uh, actually she won did, a she, challenge. Yeah, she did she the challenge on the Universe. Yeah. She aced it, I think. And she, it's yeah. um, but it's it's got all this like uh, so there's, there's uh, suggestions of relationships and things, and um, some fans got very annoyed that one relationship was briefly suggested on one of the writers' twitters, and so they got so annoyed about it they started this campaign of hate towards this writer, yeah. and basically forced them off of Twitter because they didn't like what they were doing to the show that they write for and it's it's uh, was this is Stephen King's misery wasn't that the whole base that's exactly. what the whole it's, thing was it's, based on it's incredibly weird I'm not sure where this sort of fandom and entitlement has come from and I'm wondering if there's anything that you guys like yourselves which you could see yourself Ooh. getting that that passionate about or what you what do you think you know, is the cause of that passion? Like, it hasn't you, always been there, has it? I think at this stage of my life, probably not. But I have to say, when I was a teenager, I was yeah. obsessed with various things. They're mostly like, you know, famous young actors yeah. uh, type situations. To the point where, you know, you'd hear, I remember hearing that, you know, a certain actor had got a girlfriend and I, myself, my friend, sat in crying all night. <laughs> we were 14. So it was like, I yeah, mean, exactly. too many. Sorry, why am I even trying to rationalize? There's a list yeah. of reasons and yeah. different angles yeah. why this was absolute madness. Yeah. And um, so I can understand, like, because there was a, there's definitely a touch of obsession or something. But I always kind of put it down to, I mean, teenagers aren't very rational, are they? But this happens with adults That's as well. That's what I was going to say. Is, 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 it, is it gaming and tech? It's, it's, um, I think it's anything sort of like pop culture related, exactly, really. Yeah, it's, it seems to get yeah. everything. You think about Beatles mania like yeah. back in the 1960s, 1960, yeah. uh, where this massive craze is more recently with like Justin Bieber and One Direction, that sort of thing. And then apply that to everything across pop culture and you yeah. get the same reactions. And I'm wondering what it is that yeah. causes that. But what, but at the moment, I mean, I think where I, I'm seeing it is within politics. Yeah. Um, and this is kind of also what is absolutely destroying the Labour Party yeah. right now. Um, it's essentially a Jeremy Corbyn fandom. That's and, and also yeah. that's because that's what it's like. Um, and that's what I'm seeing. And to be fair, again, to be balanced, I'm seeing terrible behaviour from yeah. from people uh, from both. If you can kind of, sort of say say a, a Blairite, for want of a better way of describing it, you know, or moderate way, and also also from that that bunch, but also seeing, ex I mean, e extraordinary behaviour yeah. and just um, again a abuse. Yeah. Um, and again, none of this is none of this is new, and also that that people have behaved in this kind of fashion. Yeah, of when course like they have. Yeah. Been, and also, it's not like kind of people behaving terribly in politics is new either. Exactly. But it's also it's very noticeable about about how it's kind of foregrounded exactly. at the moment. But and, also that it's happening mm -hmm. to things like children's cartoons, and that you're getting people forced off of like uh, the, the the platforms where they're speaking because they mm -hmm. can't do anything on those without getting all this tor torrents of abuse and is it the internet that's, that's maybe increasing that because people are just given 
Perfect. It's like an echo chamber, isn't it? You follow the people who you want to hear from, and so you only hear the views that you believe, and mm. so it creates this echo chamber where you believe that you're always right, and anything that goes against that infuriates you. I don't, I don't oh, know. But uh, how the anonymity, do you... obviously, we've talked about exactly the that as well. Yeah, is, uh, uh, just has created all kinds of problems, very right? cyberbullying. Um, I mean, if you think about it, if it was back in the day, you, know, you wouldn't get hordes and hordes of people turning up at the developers' house exactly, and yeah. banging down the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's so easy to just kind of berate them on, on Twitter or, or wherever it happens to be. Uh, yeah, um, well, I th yeah, well, I think there, is, there has been a certain kind of a lack of feeling of a lack of consequence but also I'm, I'm again I'm so sort of quite wary to just blame the internet in it yeah. itself um, because, it's, it's, <laughs> well, it's, 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 because it's also at the end of the day it's, people, it's about people how they take responsibility and yeah. I think the question is about how you, how you change this round and I think it's very different in different circumstances as I mean, you know within politics I think it's absolutely the responsibility of um, you know the par parties and the leadership to deal, deal with deal with and create a different culture and also I think this is where in my book Jeremy Corbyn has totally failed um, to also even take this seriously um, but also but it's very different when you see people kind of attaching themselves to yeah. kind of games as I was saying so you know obviously the the biggest thing has been the whole Gamergate thing yeah, exactly. and also this kind mm. of f fury um, but also, it, but it's also. I think it's about how you start start, start making different narratives, and also just uh, how how are you going to behave differently. But I don't think we can really seriously ask social media to police no, exactly that in the same it's, way. It'd but, be impossible to. Yeah, but but equally, that doesn't absolve responsibility. No. But also, but what can we do to sort of like maybe put a stop to that sort of thing? Is is my question? Like, what what? How is it that you stop fandoms feeling so entitled? To, to how they think everything should go and then getting so furious about it. Is there a way to stop that? I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh. I mean, that, uh, uh, everything you're trying to describe there, I imagine, would be, would be described by an, ad, uh, uh, an expert as yeah. obviously almost ill. Yeah, really. Sure. You know, I mean, are treatable mm. as yeah. something. The way you've described it, and that's not to say that everything. Obviously, that every individual would go around, but it probably would be fine. Exactly, most yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a scary one, really, is, though, yeah. when you think about it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Gaming, I think gaming bring gaming. I don't know what it is, and it always has. But now, obviously, with the internet as well, again, so I'm not letting you away. I'm <laughs> blaming the internet. Yeah, that's okay. it. Um, yeah, I don't know what it brings out a very obsessive sort of a. I mean, I'm a huge geek. I, I, yeah, I get, I get, yeah. I get very into the games that I'm playing, but yeah. not, not to the point where I'd ever attack anyone mm -hmm. over it. You're shooting yourself in the foot because you don't exactly. know what way that's exactly, going to go. Yeah. Why would you annoy the developer? Yeah, they're making your game. Yeah. what you want. <laughs> you're completely hands. right. Yeah. Uh, so even though there's absolutely no logic or rationale um, mm. behind it, but it's a very interesting one. It might be one yeah. that we should look into getting an expert yeah. in to talk yeah. about. I think so, at some point, yeah. Uh, we'll get them in for an interview mm. or something. But there's definitely mm. something in the whole tech yeah. and uh, games. My husband works in mobile uh, yeah. apps and games development. I've been to a few events. Um, I, yeah, I can see how obsessed people get about them. <laughs> I just feel like it was simpler back in the sort of Super Nintendo days. Well, because you didn't really... I think it's because you didn't hear directly from the horse's mouth every sort of in, bit of information that you needed to know. Exactly. So, but now it's so instant and reactions are so instant. Yes. It's, it creates, like I said, that echo chamber where you just want to hear the opinions yeah. that you want to hear all the time. Uh, it's and true. doesn't give you any time to think about what you're saying, which can then cause these issues. Oh, that's a brilliant mm. one. I, Cal, thanks very much for bringing that Thank up. You. I wish we had more time to talk about it, but we, we don't have time to go to our mm. end. Finally, it's oh, because it's yeah. really in such interesting topics. <laughs> uh, thank you to my fantastic guests, mm. Cal Doughty and Loz Kay. Now, we're back again tomorrow night with another daily rundown. You'll have the pleasure of Dan Morfitt's company for that one. I'll be back next week. And until then, have a very good evening from all of us here in the studio. Good night.